Captain Anne Bonnie having her first start on the poly today, definitely lined up as the class in the race, but she didn't give you the easiest of rides. In her defense, she's got up where it counts. Yeah, exactly. She has one where it counts, um, you know, first time on the poly track, and yeah, there was a few uptight fillies there in the pens, yeah. and you know, there was, she wasn't happy with them go, uh, messing around around her, and she also got a bit uptight in the pens, so I just had to jump her. She came out, and I ended up sitting second. Eventually, only once she hit the turn, she relaxed, but you know, at the end of the day, she is the class filly. She was still looking for company, but she's won a nice race. She hasn't won it like a 6-10 to, cent, uh, six to ten shot, but she's won a race, and that's all that matters. I think there's a lot more to come from her. She may have won by a quarter of a length, but considering everything she took out of herself early on and running around late, the margin could have been bigger. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I said, you know, she's also a bit of a temperamental filly, and if things ran smoothly, the race would have gone more smoothly, but unfortunately there was a few naughty fillies at the start, and it just messed with her a bit. But yeah, like I said, she's won a good race. I think she is going to get better with age, yeah. with her temperament, and also I think she will enjoy the longer straights on the grass because she takes time to get balanced up, but yeah, she's won a good race. Good to have you back in the PE winner's box. Yeah, thanks Nadine, it's my first winner back in PE since the injury, so it's nice to be back up here. I must say big thanks to, to Tara and her whole team yeah. for giving me the winner. You know, it's, it's always a very good ride, it was a bonus I meet on, so thank you very much to them, to, to Gavin Fenter, thank you very much, I appreciate it. And also as I say, big thanks to Chase Mujan, you know, he, he told me how to ride the filly and without that information it could have been a different race, so thank you very much to him, I appreciate it. Well, very well done. Thanks Nadine. Tara standing by, she's going to join me now, have a chat about the daughter of Captain of All. And uh, I think Ryan's done a really good job here. She's a filly that does like to you know, give everyone a hard time, and he's done very well not having previous experience on her. Yeah, I think Ryan you know, hit the nail on the head, Nadine. There was a couple of fractious horses in the pens, and she was starting to get her knickers in a knot. And I was actually screaming, you know, pull the gates, pull the gates. I know that they couldn't hear me, but anyway, you know, I, I think it was a win full of merit. She's very consistent. First time on the all weather on, on the poly track. Um, well done to Gavin and obviously to Claverfly, captain of all. Absolutely love them. I'm going to bring in her half sister probably next week. Um, so that will be quite exciting. And yeah, just well done to tomorrow's V Sports Bets. Um, Captain Anne's now going to go fishing. She's going to go on holiday. So you're not going to see her probably until November. I think she's deserved a, you know, earned a, a well-deserved rest. Um, and I think she'll be the better horse for it at the end of the day. Very, very exciting when this, um, the poly, you've got to give your horses a go and it's some time to see can they cope with it. And despite everything, she's come out on top. So well done to her. Yes, you know, look, her whole career has been a little bit rush, rushed, Nadine. I mean, we only started doing picking up our work in December. You knew we threw her into the... The, the Phillies nursery as a maiden. Um, sometimes it can blow the Phillies' minds. Gavin's done a great job, you know, just trying keeping her together. But like I said, now she can go play capers and go over all her jaunts and whatever she wants to do, I think she'll come back, back bigger and better in, in November. You've got a bit of a break now till uh, Dimay, but uh, he's a horse that has shown to enjoy the poly, as has Travel Guard. Uh, La Roquette, you've got to take her into consideration, but she's another one who falls into Captain Anne Bar um, Captain Anne's uh, boat, she's got to learn about the poly. Yeah, 100%. You know, Daimee's got a, a lovely galloping weight. You know, T. Gould, one of the hardest workers in PE. He deserves every chance that he can get. La Roquette, a little bit disappointing last time out, but bearing in mind it was her second run after a layoff, which seems to be hitting me very hard of recent. But she's been working well. I think we've got the best top weight jock on her with, with Wayne Agrella. Travel Guide, again, bearing in mind, this is her second run after a layoff, but she's sound and she has been working well. Um, so I think basically from here on, we just need a little bit of lady luck. Well, Tara, very well done, and thanks for the info. Thank you very much. And we've got the owner standing by, Captain Anne Bonnie. Gavin Fenter owns her, and Gav, I know you've been dancing around the poly for a while, but uh, it looked like a good day to give her a, a try at it. And uh, once again, she's given everyone grey hairs, but here she is in the winner's box. Yeah, Nadine, uh, in the nursery we scratched because she had never been to the yes. poly before. And with all the rain that we've had, we've been forced to work our runners on the poly, which that's where the poly really comes in yeah. big, you know, because our tracks are not good at the moment. And so we take the runners and show them the poly, and she's come to the poly uh, three or four times. And on Monday, I gave her a bit of a breeze along, and she handled it well. And myself and Tara discussed it, you know, what do we do? And said, look, I rode on the poly, and she enjoyed it. So we, we got to run on the poly because she's drawn in the bush in the champion juveniles, so she's not going to run, she's going to have a break. So, and she's got to see the poly sometime, a little bit early. We don't like to run two yards on the poly, but it's come a bit early, but she's now seen the poly, she'll know next time, she'll be a lot better. And yeah, and she's going to have a well-deserved rest now. 
Okay, very well done. She's uh, done it for you guys. She's got it right. She's a two-time winner. Congrats. Yeah, she's done well. She's won the nursery. She ran, sec she ran second in the, the lady slipper. She ran fourth in the dahlia plate. So, I mean, she's there's three listed races. So she's, yeah, she's uh, got to be the hot pot favorite maybe for two or three of the year. Woohoo, fingers crossed. Well done, Gav. Thanks a lot. Yeah, as Gav says, plenty of black type behind her and uh, she's come through here in uh, this juvenile plate showing the class that she has to register her second career victory, trying the poly for the first time. Not the easiest of fillies. Very well done to Ryan for getting it out of her right where it counts and to Chase for giving him the, the good instructions. Good teamwork. Well done. Race two now all clear. One, two, five, four. Diddy for fifth between three and six. Stoke favourite to winner, all clear. But I've got to tell you, she's very un 